Hi, this is Teacher Jennifer from U.S. Citizenship Podcast. Today we will listen to our sixth interview with Officer David. You can download the regular citizenship interview from uscitizenpod.com and practice with a classmate, friend, or family member. After we're done with the interview, we will listen to the civics questions, question six. Let's get started. Hello, I am Officer David with USCIS. I'm here to be interviewing you for your citizenship test. Thanks. Why are you here today? Because I want to become an American citizen. Why do you want to become an American citizen? I want to live with my family in peace. What do you miss about your old country? I miss the people and I miss the countryside. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Do you have any questions before we begin? No, I do not. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. What did you just promise? I promise to tell the truth. Explain how you are eligible to become a United States citizen. I have had my green card for over five years. Show me your green card, passport, or state-issued photo ID. Here's my ID. What is your current legal name? My current legal name is Julia Estevez. Spell your family name. E-S-T-E-V-E-S. Is the name on your green card the same as your current legal name? Yes, it is. What is your date of birth? My date of birth is November 4th, 1980. What date did you become a legal permanent resident? I became a legal permanent resident on July 15th, 2013. What is your country of birth? Honduras. What is your country of nationality? Honduras. Are you requesting an accommodation because of a disability? No, I am not. What is your current home address? My current home address is 1331 East Calaveras Boulevard, Milpitas, California, 95035. How long have you lived at your current home address? I have lived there for two years. What was your previous home address? My previous home address was in Oceanside, California. How do you support yourself? I am a programmer. Have you taken any trips outside of the United States during the last five years? Yes, I have. How many trips have you taken outside of the United States during the last five years? Three trips. How many total days did you spend? Approximately 50 days. Tell me about your last trip. When did you leave? I had to go to Hong Kong for business. I left on January 29th, 2018, and I returned on March 2nd, 2018. What is your current marital status? I am divorced. How many times have you been married? I've been married one time. What is your spouse's name? My ex-spouse? Yes. The, my loser ex-spouse, <laughs> Marco, es- Marco Estevez. Do you have any children? No, we do not. Have you ever claimed to be a United States citizen? No, I have not. Have you ever voted in a United States election? No, I have not. Do you have any title of nobility in your foreign country? No, we do not. Not in Honduras. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent? No, I have not. Have you ever failed to file your taxes? I pay my taxes every year. Do you owe any taxes? No, I do not. Do you belong to any group or organization? I belong to a software engineer group. Have you ever been a member of the Communist Party? No, I have not. What is communism? Communism is one party, a political system with a central government and a central economic group, such as in China, Vietnam, North Korea, and Cuba. Have you ever been a member of the totalitarian party? No, I have not. What is a totalitarian party? The government party has absolute control over the people and they make the laws. Have you ever been a terrorist? No, I have not. What is a terrorist? Terrorist uh, uses fear to and violence to control people. Have you ever advocated or overthrown any government by either force or violence? No, I have not. Have you ever persecuted any person of race, religion, national origin, member of any particular social group or political opinion? So have I ever, let me ask you this, 
Have I ever persecuted somebody who's different than me? Is that what you're asking? Yes. Okay. No, I have never persecuted anybody who's different than me. Have you ever participated in a genocide? No. No, I have not. What is a genocide? Genocide is to kill many people because they're a different race or creed. Have you ever tortured anyone? No, I have not. What is torture? Torture is to basically hurt somebody on purpose to get information from them. Have you ever killed or tried to kill someone? No, I have not tried to kill anybody. What is to kill? To kill is to take somebody's life. Have you ever badly hurt or killed anyone on purpose? No, I have not. What is to kill or hurt a person on purpose? To kill or hurt somebody on purpose is to try to injure somebody so they cannot live a good life. Have you ever been forced or tried to force someone to have sex? No, I have not. What is rape? Rape is sexual assault. Have you ever stopped someone from practicing his or her religion? No. What is religion? Religion is the way people think about God. Have you ever participated in a military unit, rebel group, or militia? No. Have you ever been a member of a gang? No. Have you ever been arrested or committed a crime? No. What is a crime? Crime is to break the law. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Never. Have you ever been a prostitute? No. No, I have not. Have you ever sold or smuggled illegal drugs or narcotics? No, I have not. What are illegal drugs? Illegal drugs are like heroin, cocaine, or opium. Have you ever been married to, to more than one person at a time? No, one man was enough. What is bigamy? Bigamy is to be married to two people at the same time. Have you ever married someone to get an immigration benefit? No, I have not. What is an immigration benefit? Immigration benefit, if you marry an American citizen, then you can become eligible to become a legal permanent resident. So you're gaining a, a benefit that is not properly yours. Have you ever helped anyone enter the United States illegally? No, I have not. What is illegal entry? Illegal entry is to come into the United States without a visa or any proper paperwork. Have you ever gambled illegally? No, I have not. What is illegal gambling? Illegal gambling is to make a bet but not to pay taxes on the winnings. Have you ever failed to support your children or pay alimony? No. What is alimony? Alimony is to pay money to an ex-spouse. Have you ever lied to the United States government to get public benefits? No, I have not. What are public benefits? Public benefits are like to get a discount or a voucher for rent or Medicare or for food. Have you ever been deported? No, I have not. What is deported? Deported is to be arrested and then to be kicked out of the country. Have you ever served in the United States Armed Forces? No, I have not. Do you support the United States Constitution and the forms of government? Absolutely. I support the U.S. Constitution. What is the Constitution? The Constitution is the supreme law of the land. What is the U.S. forms of government? We have a democratic system in the United States. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. What is an oath? An oath is a promise, a solemn promise. What is an allegiance? I promise loyalty to a country. What is the oath of allegiance? I promise loyalty to the United States government. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States government? Yes, I am. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms in the United States Army? Yes, I am. What is to bear arms? To carry a weapon to protect the country. Are you willing to perform non-combatant services for the United States Army? Yes, I am. What is non-combatant? To work in the U.S. Uh, military without using a weapon. Are you willing to help the government during a national emergency? Yes, I am. Do you promise that everything you have said is true? Yes, I do. Thank you. Okay, thank you. What was one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Freedom of speech. Who makes federal laws? Congress. We elect a president for how many years? Four years. 
What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of State and Secretary of Labor. What is the political party of the president now? Republican. What is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th. When was the Constitution written? 1787. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Freed the slaves. What major event happened on September 11th, 2001 in the United States? Terrorists attacked the United States. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? For 13 original colonies. Thanks to the students and staff from Elpidus Adult School. Special thanks goes out to Officer David and all the fine officers from USCIS. Please visit us on the web at uscitizenpod.com where you'll find more citizenship resources. Also visit our YouTube channel where you're going to find all five of his citizenship videos. Thanks for listening. I know that you will be a great American citizen. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.